Hey everybody, good evening, Dr. Dan McClyman here with Beacon of Life Chiropractic, pediatric, prenatal, and family chiropractor. I just wanted to come to you live here this evening. Um, one thing that's very exciting for us we're gonna be doing are back to school with Beacon of Life videos. What the word doctor means literally is teacher. So I don't know if you knew that or not, but we're gonna be doing some teaching here now that in our area of Montgomery and Chester counties of Pennsylvania, we have uh, schools starting to go back here, so we're gonna be going back to school ourselves. So we're gonna be having our chalk talks, or whiteboard talks here. And so what we have, um, as our practice members know, uh, are our daily handouts. And so what we do is we have these daily handouts based on current research. And <clears throat> so today what we're gonna cover is how you and your family can avoid some of the most common preventable illnesses that are leading to actually a decrease in life expectancy today here in America. So this is actually from the Harvard University Press, uh, and the journal is called Morbidity, Morbidity and Mortality um, in Our Country Today, and so in the United States. And <clears throat> what this article shows us is that life expectancy is actually now decreasing in the United States. And what the article says, and what we've summarized here, is actually that the first time, for the first time since 1993, our life expectancy in America is actually going down. And so, you know, we can speak about uh, this topic and typically when we do, uh, a significant amount of frustration comes up um, and emotion, sometimes anger comes up with that because, you know, if we really look at America today, we know that we have better access to health care. We have more advanced technology. You know, there's an urgent care. There's, you know, more people filling our hospitals. There's better access to technology and health care. We're actually spending far more than we ever have before. And then at the end of the day, we all know that we're taking more medications, having more procedures, more surgeries than ever before, which save a lot of lives, right? But that's crisis care. You know, we, we don't want, uh, you know, to start with a drug, to start with a surgery. And so what the moral of this lesson here is about is that actually the main cause of this decrease in life expectancy in our country today, preventable illness. And so what we do here in our practice is number one, we start with teaching, doctor means teacher, that your body was designed perfectly. It's actually capable of healing from the inside out. You know, so when it comes to your children, when it comes to your grandchildren, our families, our spouses, our parents, our grandparents, our loved ones, what we wanna know is that these things are always gonna be here, drugs and surgery. Crisis care, it saves a lot of lives. It should be used as a last resort, we believe, not a first option. And so if we're spending all this money, we have you know, all this technology at our fingertips and better access to healthcare and our life expectancy is actually going down. Well, I think we need to look somewhere else. I think we need to look within. I think we need to um, start examining what we're putting into our bodies. We need to start examining how our bodies are functioning. If we're giving our body the things that it needs to thrive, are we getting proper sleep, plenty of sunlight, activity, et cetera. But here's the thing that we focus on. All those things are important when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. But what we focus on here in our practice in the community is actually the function of the body through the central nervous system, which is the brain, the spinal cord, and then all the nerves, telling the heart to beat, the lungs to breathe, and your food to digest. So if we can start there, identify the root cause of a lot of these preventable illnesses, whether it be high blood pressure is a warning sign, indigestion, constipation or warning signs that there's dysfunction somewhere in the body, right? We don't get acid reflux because we haven't taken enough reflux medication, because we haven't taken enough Prilosec. We don't get migraines because we haven't taken enough Excedrin. There's something underlying that is the root cause of those symptoms that eventually become expressed after a long duration of dysfunction. And so what we can learn from Harvard University Press is that we need to focus on the preventable illnesses. And so this school year, that's what we urge you to do. We're here to partner with you and with your family in achieving your health goals. So visit our website, which is gobeaconhealth.com and learn a little bit more about how we can help to serve you and your family to be the healthiest you possibly can this year and for the future. Again, Dr. Dan McClyman here with Beacon of Life Chiropractic, pediatric, prenatal, and family chiropractors. We'll talk with you soon. God bless.